much as possible, or did that just sort of kind of happen the way the game? Was no, we, we we talked about that. We we wanted to, you know, Kippersoft's such a good goalie. You want to put a lot of pucks towards the net, and you want to create some chances. And if you get too fine, I mean, they've been playing too well. Um, and he's been playing too well, so you, you have to put volumes of pucks um, at him. You've got to have uh, you know some net presence, and you got to you know you got to convert. We had some great chances at about the third and or the first, I should say, and we didn't convert. And, you know those are you know, we could pull away I thought, early on them, and uh, we didn't. And they had a real good push in the second, and they could pull away from us. So it was a little bit of a um, you know, both goaltenders I thought were pretty pretty good tonight lost six in a row at home against Calgary and I finally Yeah, I didn't know that until you brought that up. Thanks. Um, yeah, no, it was just, we just talked about having a good, good home stand and, and uh, Calgary and us, you know, you look at the, the previous couple games, one nothing, two nothing. Those are, uh, we knew it was going to be a battle. It just, I don't know if it's the way we match up or, or what, but, uh, you know, from, they're always a, a real tight, tight game. Uh, it was good to beat them, and I, I, now that I know that stat, I can I go forward. <laughs> nice to get some offense from the fourth line. Yeah, you know, we, any time that you're you're going to have success, you need everybody scoring. And tonight we were we were able to get a you know the first goal from our fourth line, and uh, that was that was that was huge for us. Uh, you know, just you know, I think uh, sometimes you know you, you talk about your fourth line doesn't always get the accolades that it it. it you know, as the scorers do, they sort of they grind it out. They kill penalties. They do the, all the other grunt work sometimes. And uh, tonight, uh, they got a big goal and you know got us off to a great start. McRadden seemed like he had a little more jump than usual tonight. Yeah, you well, know, he, he always uh, you know he played in Calgary. He's got a lot of friends there, and uh, I think from that standpoint, you know, anytime anybody plays against their their, their former team, they want to they want to show well. And you know, he, I think he's a leading scorer right now against them after three games. Power. Do you feel like you've sort of carried momentum from those last couple of minutes against Columbus? Yeah, I, I think we have. Uh, I mean, we talked about you know those are those are those moments that you are able to find a way to win. It can really catapult you to to doing something right. And I I, I would say that really sort of cleared the air for us. You know, we were struggling along, and every game was a real battle, and wasn't real, real joyful to be here. And then you find a way to win the way we did, and. And it's been a lot more joyful, and the guys have been, you know, pretty on on spot in terms of being ready to you know, to go and, and detailed, and you know, you got real good focus. Power play again, another big goal. That's three yeah. games. Yeah, yeah. You know, you you want your power play to score goals and, and, and timely goals tonight. We got a we, we adjusted between periods. So, you know, as I said, it becomes a cat and mouse game for what they were doing. They had an all out press against our. Our, uh, our power play in the second, and so we made a, a slight adjustment and you know, were able to, to execute it and, and go from there. So the guys uh, you know, did a really good job. And, you know, Pelican Hill did a, thought did a, a great job, you know, especially at the end of the second and uh, the first part of the third, because if they score, it could change all the momentum again. So um, I thought from, from that standpoint, the uh, special teams were good. And I thought for overall, you know, we, we, uh, first was excellent. Second, we can. For the first ten minutes, we weren't very good. Second ten minutes, we were, we were a little bit better. And, and in the third, I thought we were, we were fine. And you know, we were, we were hung on at the end, which seems to be the way. What was the adjustment you guys made in the power play? Well, they were there. They had a full out press, and then you, you, to break some of that pressure, you have to move people in certain areas. And we moved to. I think Smith moved to the middle, and uh, it allowed us to, to break some of the pressure. And then we executed off that. Long and Jeffrey on down two days here. I mean, it's not unusual, I guess, for guys to have to go through this process, even though you didn't necessarily expect it from these two guys. Yeah, I think you know, based on, on you know where they they were last year and you know playing in the playoffs and what have you, but they haven't had the the year this year as they expected. You know, one of the things that you you tend to overlook is that you know you, when guys come up during the playoffs and they play, and they only play towards the end of the year, um, even. Uh, you know, John Blunt played combined probably 30 some games in uh, those playoffs and regular season, and Boomer didn't play as many. You know, you think of them as second year players, but they're really first year players, and, uh, and uh, they haven't had really got any, as much traction as they had last year. So, uh, the whole idea is getting them playing 
so that they they can come back and and, uh, and get some traction on, in our lineup, so that uh, you know they're not just struggling all year because you know it, you know your confidence goes, you're not playing, and you know, they're still pretty young players. I mean, John Love's a young player, Boomer's a, lot, a little bit older, but um, they just have to play, and when they come back, they'll, they'll be they'll be better off for it. You starting to say the progression you wanted to say with Callum Wilson. Yeah, Willie, uh, you know, he can do some things that no one in our team can do. And, then, you know, there's still some growth in this game. But, you know, it's just like, you know, every game he's he's doing stuff that is uh, that you expect him, to, you know, to do, you know, being a high pick. But, he, uh, you know, he's a big body. He can, he can make some great plays. And he can, you know, he can really test you. Um, in terms of you know the defensive part of the game where, where teams are trying to defend against him, he can really put a press on and, and, and be hard to handle. And, and there's other parts of his game he can still improve upon, but you know he's, he's got that confidence right now. It seemed like Pex and Kiprasov were both in the zone. Was that an entertaining goaltending duel? Yeah, it was. Uh, you know, I, I think uh, Team Finland will be pretty good at the Olympics with those two guys in that. So uh, yeah, they're both. I, I think there's a mutual respect for. For both each other, uh, you know, they're, they're countrymen, and, and uh, I, you know, I think that they both sort of look at each other and, and say, you know, hey, you know, I respect your game and, and vice versa. So yeah, it's good. It was a good goaltending display and a lot of shots and in a, uh, a lot. There's probably I think there's like 80 shots in a 2-1 hockey game. That's uh, it's got to be entertaining. Everyone but McGrattan had a shot on goal for the Predators. Is that nice to see that everyone's sort of trigger happy? Yeah, I actually I thought McGrattan had a shot on uh, on Halstrick's goal, but okay, that, yeah, it's good. Everybody had the the right mindset in terms of shooting, so um, that was it's good to see. Uh, I think we we tend to pass up and be a little bit too pretty sometimes. Again, Les line was pretty hot coming into the game. How did you guys keep him off the score sheet? Um, Suits and Weber and, and Pecorini. You know, in a, in a plethora of forwards. That's how I looked at it. It was the first time in a few weeks that you've got you've actually scored first. Is it easier to protect the lead, or is it easier? The scoring first is easier, because, uh, really, uh, in this league. You know, if if you look at it, you know, you don't score first. You need, you know, you need two to win, and if they get the next one, it's you now the you know that that valley gets deeper and deeper. So. Uh, always getting a good start is real, real key. I think for any club, it doesn't matter our club or any other club in the league. Uh, you know, teams can defend. The goaltenders are by far the best they've ever been in the history of the game. So it, it, it's it makes it a, a difficult task unless you you get some good luck and have some some good execution and what have you. Okay. All right. Thanks.